Uh, the fight between the Department of Public Safety and its trooper over waistline size appears to be headed to courts. Uh oh. Last week, the DPS uh, Officers Association filed a lawsuit in Travis County to block the new fitness standards, specifically requiring waistline measurements to be no more than 40 inches for men and 35 inches for the ladies. Here's uh, Lieutenant Richard Jankowski and with the uh, well, the association president. There is no studies anywhere that will say you cannot be a law enforcement officer if you have a belly measurement of over 35 or 40. It's not indicative of one's health. It's not a determining factor if you're able to do your job. Well, I don't know if you're a if you're a fat cop that has a 45 inch waist. Can you chase suspects down the streets? Well, uh, can you actually <laughs> fight somebody? That's an when, interesting. When you're rolling in the streets. Let me say this, if you don't mind me saying this, Todd. Um, and you've lost a ton of weight. I, I mean, have a, you, you look amazing. 37 inches okay. is my waist. Back um, years ago, you and I ran a couple of races together, and you were a larger human being back then. I don't know what your waist size was. I was probably about a 42 back then. Okay, you were 42. And you beat me, and I've always, you know, I'm, I'm, an I'm not skinny, but I've always kind of weighed the same thing. You beat me. You left me in the dust. Yeah, because you don't know how to run. You you run on your tippy toes. Well, I kind of do. You do. I kind of do. Um, but seriously, you you've always been in shape, right? I mean, you've you've been in good shape. A healthy big boy. When you were bigger, yeah, you were still in shape. Yeah, uh, you, aerobically, you were good. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. assume. Yeah. So I don't think you can just take waist size alone no. and go. You can't do this. No, you can't. You, I think it needs to be more involved. In I that. agree with that. Runners mm-hmm. come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah. But should there be a criteria for the the men and women that put on the uniform and have to potentially fight in the streets? Is a 42-inch waist too much uh, for a a state trooper? It depends. on. They need to put them through stress tests and all that stuff. They can't just, you know, put a a tape measure around and go, nope, sorry, you're out. Yeah. Can't do that. you got to put them through a lot more because uh, I think there are a lot of them that could probably still pass some kind of, uh, you know, physical physical test. Well, the Public Safety Commission disagrees with the uh, Jankowski here. On Thursday, the three-member panel unanimously approved the new fitness standards, setting setting the stage for a court battle. They're taking it to court. Yeah. I would think that this may, uh, you know, maybe affect recruiting. I mean, if recruiting was great, you know what I mean, when it comes to law enforcement, Mm -hmm. then this probably wouldn't be an issue. Well, I mean, I I do think that they need to be as healthy as possible. I mean, I, I really do. I think it needs. I think physical fitness needs to be uh, a real, real requirement and something that they they go through, like the army, like the armed services do. You've got to be in good shape to do the job well. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that a uh, 42 inch waist is gonna. Uh, should mean that that's going to shut it all down for you. Yeah. If you can still run fast, if you can uh, still get the job done, uh, fine. I don't care how big you are. So maybe you have to go through a special test if you're a chubby boy yeah. who's applied for a job to be a state trooper. Maybe they have to go through a yeah, little bit more of a rigorous test. You got a 40-inch waist. Maybe we got to do some other testing to see if you can. Well, uh, I mean, I, I guess it should all be on the, on the same plane. You, you know, if, if you can c- compete uh, with somebody who has the 32-inch waist and weighs 160 pounds, mm-hmm. uh, who cares? Yeah. You know? Just uh, more... Uh, well, this doesn't say anything about actual weight of the trooper. No. It just says waist size. Waist size. Because you could be uh, five foot one with a 50-inch waist. Yeah, exactly. And that's Which is a good look on you. That's that, a that, great look. They call you a fire plug. They do. That's that's right. That, that, that's your stump. nickname in the recruiting class. Stumpy. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be more involved than that. Yeah. So, uh, but, but at the same time... I am amazed at the amount of uh, police officers out there. You know, if you watch uh, 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 PD Live or whatever it's called, for example, and cops, when they'd be in a chase, man, and it's like they are a, a foot chase and they're about to die. They're about to die. What do you mean? You know, just the the, the breathing. You can tell that they have pushed it to the limit, I the you. absolute limit. And I know that there's a limit for everybody, but uh, – <laughs> It, it, it seems to me that there's many times where cops have to get out and start running. Got a text message here at 512-836-0590. The texter asked the question, uh, well, makes the statement here, an overweight cop is likely to use a gun uh, catching a suspect as opposed to actually chasing and fighting. Screw it, I'm going to shoot. Yeah. Can't run, might as well shoot. Well, that's pretty interesting. I don't, I don't believe that, but don't, that's what the texture says. I don't think that's a given. Uh, Chris in North Austin, good morning. Hey, Chris. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, what's sir, on hey. your mind? 
you know, years ago, the Highway Patrol had a limit on how big, you know, you had to be a certain size to be a Highway Patrolman. Mm. Well, they changed that. They allowed women. And now they're working on the overweight guy who's been there for a long time. So I believe it may be a way to push out these guys who are in upper positions, higher paid so. jobs, and to push them out. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. So you think it's a good idea. Well, you know, if a guy, y'all let him stay there until he retires if he put in that much time. Yeah. To push him out, it may not. A supervisor doesn't need to chase anybody down. He's paying you or me yeah. to do that. Yeah, but you're also so, paying their health care, too. Well, you're right. But he also served for us for 20, 25 years, given his life. I agree. You know? I agree. So. Yeah. There's a wash there somewhere. We got to be even. I, I think maybe a case by case basis. Case by case basis. Yeah, because but it, there are some people that have a 42 inch waist and a little overweight, and you could see that they can't do the job. Uh, maybe, but you could see others that are that size yeah, and they can do yeah, the job. You, you would have been a good example of that. Um, but it's kind of a challenge, isn't it? Because you want these guys to be in top physical uh, form, yet it's one of the most sedentary jobs out there. For for most of the day, they're going to be sitting on their butts in a car. And that's the challenge, keeping them in shape when you're sitting around. Why are you looking at me like that? Did I you say you, something I, wrong? I just think maybe you offended a few cops. No, no, there. no, no. It, it, uh, that, that wasn't meant to be offensive. I, I was That wasn't meant to be critical. I dare you to it's say that. It's the nature of the job. You spend a lot of time on your butt. Yeah. I, I That's just how it works. I got you. So, Easy. The, the, Careful. No, I don't mean any disrespect. Yeah. At all. <laughs> Al, good morning on the Tide of Don Show. <laughs> hey. How y'all doing? Fine. Good. What's on your mind? Well, basically, I just wanted to tell you that when I was trying to get in the sheriff's department about two years ago, I was more overweight, and it was stricter for me to pass the to get in for the physical requirements. Yeah. So when I I had a better time than those guys that were skinnier than me that were out of the military. So I think I, I really don't understand why they had to make a big deal about the waistline. I think that those uh, row machines. They, they test you pretty well with that. I see. Yeah. They got to get so, on one of those rowing machines as part of the test. I got you, Al. Thank you, man. Six, uh, rather, 754 here on the Tide of Dodge. We got Trump tweets coming up at 806. That's huge. We got amazing prizes get today. Get ready. It, get you, ready. You got some, uh, is he going to, you going to surprise us? Yeah, you're not going to see this coming. And uh, Don't tell us. W- w- okay. Don't yeah. tell us. Don't give it away. But uh, we got some uh, life-changing prizes. Extraordinary. Coming up for Trump tweets at yeah. 806.